We're back with a cosmic rock star who's built a stellar resume. You get the puns there, Neil. Neil deGrasse Tyson is the director of the Hayden Planetarium at the American Museum of Natural History. He's also a best-selling author, and he's in his second season as a late-night host with the Emmy-nominated Star Talk on the National Geographic Channel. Neil, always good to see you. Good Thanks morning. Thanks for having me back. Pleasure. Yeah, what do you think? Look but what we did you. here. I, I love what you've done with the thank place. Thank you. You're not at your office, but we wanted to make you feel at home. This is not your traditional late-night talk show you interview former presidents, celebrities, rock stars, what's the common thread? Yeah, the common thread is everyone's got a little bit of geek in them, <laughs> and I'm there to find it and celebrate that fact. And I think many people who are in the fan base of the guests might not even know that fact. One of the things you do is you, you'd like to have a comedian on the panel in some place. Why is laughter important when you're teaching the lessons of science? As, I mean, I've been a professor for most of my life, and I found that people remember things best when they laugh, or as a minimum, when they smile. And so we thought in constructing the show that if I had a comedian as a a professional stand-up comedian, not the kind that do, they had heard the one about that, not that kind of comedian. Right. The kind of comedian who observe culture and find what is interesting or funny or enlightening about it. So I have a professional comedian who is my co-host, and I see them as sort of a levity valve to the conversation. And in studio, we can bring in a, a an academic expert, right. and that's the gravity valve is how I look at it. <laughs> and so these, I'm, as, I, I'm steering the show, adjusting these valves to make sure we hit the right level every time. As we are sitting here surrounded by the cosmos, um, talk to me about the year that space has had. It's been in the headlines. Yeah. Pluto downgraded, okay? Well, that, that's big. That's old I new. know, but <laughs> liquid, liquid water on Mars. Liquid water on Mars is What's good. What's the headline that stood out the most to you? I would say the li we've been after that liquid water for decades. We've had all this tantalizing evidence on its surface that there was once water, when where did the water go? Because it's bone dry today. Then the, the best hypothesis was that it sunk down in and became a permafrost. And so now out of the side of a cliff face, you see liquid water oozing out the side. And so this is, it, it's... So are we alone? Uh, pro I mean, in the universe? Yeah. <laughs> not are in you the alone? Studio. That's a different yeah. psychological... Are we alone in the universe? <laughs> no, not likely are we really? alone. Just given the size of the universe, how old the universe is, how many planets there... It was announced in the last year that there's a thousand more planets yeah. to add to our catalog of star systems, not our own. And even with all this, you know what the most popular question for you on, on YouTube is? What? <laughs> Is there any difference having sex in space? Oh, that one. <laughs> What's the answer? Well, so if you're weightless in space, yeah, you need you need a lot of straps and things to hold things down. <laughs> because no, you, you, you learn Newton's laws of motion firsthand when that happens. Because you know you hit and there's a lot of recoiling. So, <laughs> but then so, I figured some people probably have a, straps anyway. You know. So, <laughs> so we've all heard of the Mile High Club. The Million Mile High Club is a little more complicated. Yeah, yeah, what million miles. That, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that would, you need some tools and apparatus for that. I, I have been a fan of yours for years and years. You you make science fun and you help us learn. And I really 20, years, 20 years ago, I think I first went. I have to I look at my records on that. Come back and but see. But thanks us for soon. your interest in the universe. Always a pleasure. All right. You can catch Star Talk Sunday nights on the National Geographic Channel. Hello, today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.